Babesiosis, Wikipedia article audio. Babesiosis is a malaria-like parasitic disease caused by infection with Babesia, a genus of Apicomplexa. Human babesiosis is an uncommon but emerging disease in the northeastern and midwestern United States and parts of Europe, and sporadic throughout the rest of the world. It occurs in warm weather. Ticks transmit the human strain of babesiosis, so it often presents with other tick-borne illnesses such as Lyme disease. After trypanosomes, Babesia is thought to be the second most common blood parasite of mammals, and they can have a major impact on health of domestic animals in areas without severe winters. In cattle, a major host, the disease is known as Texas cattle fever, red water, or pyroplasmosis. Babesia species are in the phylum Apicomplexa which also has the protozoan parasites that cause malaria, toxoplasmosis, and cryptosporidiosis. Four clades of Babesia species infect humans. The main species in each clade are Classification Signs and Symptoms Half of all children and a quarter of previously healthy adults are asymptomatic with Babesia infection. When people do develop symptoms, the most common are fever and hemolytic anemia, symptoms that are similar to those of malaria. People with symptoms usually become ill one to four weeks after the bite, or one to nine weeks after transfusion of contaminated blood products. A person infected with babesiosis gradually develops malaise and fatigue, followed by a fever. Hemolytic anemia in which red blood cells are destroyed and removed from the blood, also develops. Chills, sweats, and thrombocytopenia are also common symptoms. Symptoms may last from several days to several months. Less common symptoms and physical exam findings of mild to moderate babesiosis. In more severe cases, symptoms similar to malaria occur with fevers up to 40.5 degrees Celsius, shaking chills, and severe anemia. Organ failure may follow, including adult respiratory distress syndrome. Severe cases occur mostly in people who have had a splenectomy. Severe cases are also more likely to occur in the very young, very old, and persons with immunodeficiency such as HIV-AIDS patients. A reported increase in human babesiosis diagnoses in the 2000s is thought to be caused by more widespread testing and higher numbers of people with immunodeficiencies coming in contact with ticks, the disease vector. Little is known about the occurrence of Babesia species in malaria endemic areas, where Babesia can easily be misdiagnosed as plasmodium. Human patients with repeat babesiosis infection may exhibit premunity. Babesia parasites reproduce in red blood cells, where they can be seen as cross-shaped inclusions and cause hemolytic anemia, quite similar to malaria. Pathophysiology Unlike the plasmodium parasites that cause malaria, Babesia species lack an exoerythrocytic phase, so the liver is usually not affected. In non-human animals, Babesia canis rossi, Babesia bijmina, and Babesia bovis cause particularly severe forms of the disease, including a severe hemolytic anemia, with positive erythrocyte insulin-agglutination test indicating an immune-mediated component to the hemolysis. Common sequelae include hemoglobinuria red water, disseminated intravascular coagulation, and cerebral babesiosis caused by sludging of erythrocytes in cerebral capillaries. Diagnosis In bovine species, the organism causes hemolytic anemia, so an infected animal shows pale mucous membranes initially. As the levels of bilirubin continue to increase, 
the visible mucous membranes become yellow in color due to the failure of the liver to metabolize the excess bilirubin. Hemoglobinuria is seen due to excretion of red blood cell lysis byproducts via the kidneys. Fever of 40.5 degrees Celsius develops due to release of inflammatory byproducts. Only specialized laboratories can adequately diagnose Babesia infection in humans, so Babesia infections are considered highly underreported. It develops in patients who live in or travel to an endemic area or receive a contaminated blood transfusion within the preceding nine weeks, so this aspect of the medical history is vital. Babesiosis may be suspected when a person with such an exposure history develops persistent fevers and hemolytic anemia. The definitive diagnostic test is the identification of parasites on a gheme-sustained thin film blood smear. So-called Maltese cross formations on the blood film are diagnostic of babesiosis, since they are not seen in malaria, the primary differential diagnosis. Careful examination of multiple smears may be necessary, since Babesia may infect less than 1% of circulating red blood cells, thus be easily overlooked. Treatment Serologic testing for antibodies against Babesia can detect low-level infection in cases with a high clinical suspicion, but negative blood film examinations. Serology is also useful for differentiating babesiosis from malaria in cases where people are at risk for both infections. Since detectable antibody responses require about a week after infection to develop, serologic testing may be falsely negative early in the disease course. Epidemiology a polymerase chain reaction test has been developed for the detection of Babesia from the peripheral blood. PCR may be at least as sensitive and specific as blood film examination in diagnosing Babesiosis, though it is also significantly more expensive. Most often, PCR testing is used in conjunction with blood film examination and possibly serologic testing. Isolated cases Other laboratory findings include decreased numbers of red blood cells and platelets on complete blood count. In animals, babesiosis is suspected by observation of clinical signs in animals in endemic areas. Diagnosis is confirmed by observation of merozoites on thin film blood smear examined at maximum magnification under oil using Romanovsky stains. This is a routine part of the veterinary examination of dogs and ruminants in regions where babesiosis is endemic. History Babesia canis and B. bijmina are large Babesia species that form paired merozoites in the erythrocytes, commonly described as resembling two pairs hanging together, rather than the Maltese cross of the small Babesia species. Their merozoites are around twice the size of small ones. Cerebral babesiosis is suspected in vivo when neurological signs are seen in cattle that are positive for B. bovis on blood smear, but this has yet to be proven scientifically. Outspoken red discoloration of the grey matter post-mortem further strengthens suspicion of cerebral babesiosis. Diagnosis is confirmed post-mortem by observation of Babesia-infected erythrocytes sludged in the cerebral cortical capillaries in a brain smear. Treatment of asymptomatic carriers should be considered if parasites are still detected after three months. In mild to moderate Babesiosis, the treatment of choice is a combination of atovaquone and azithromycin. This regimen is preferred to clindamycin and quinine because side effects are fewer. The standard course is 7 to 10 days, but this is extended to at least 6 weeks in people with relapsing disease. Even mild cases are recommended to be treated to decrease the chance of inadvertently transmitting the infection by donating blood.
In life-threatening cases, exchange transfusion is performed. In this procedure, the infected red blood cells are removed and replaced with uninfected ones. Imazole is a drug used for treatment of babesiosis in dogs. Extracts of the poisonous, bulbous plant Boop Hondistica are used in the folk medicine of South Africa to treat equine babesiosis. B. Distica is a member of the daffodil family Amaryllidaceae and has also been used in preparations employed as arrow poisons, hallucinogens, and in embalming. The plant is rich in alkaloids, some of which display an action similar to that of scopolamine. Babesiosis is a vector-borne illness usually transmitted by ixodes scapularis ticks. B. microti uses the same tick vector as Lyme disease, and may occur in conjunction with Lyme. The organism can also be transmitted by blood transfusion. Ticks of domestic animals, especially Ripocephalus microplus and R. D. coloratus transmit several species of Babesia to livestock, causing considerable economic losses to farmers in tropical and subtropical regions. In the United States, the majority of babesiosis cases are caused by B. microti, and occur in the northeast and northern Midwest from May through October. Areas with especially high rates include Eastern Long Island, Fire Island, Nantucket Island, and Martha's Vineyard. In other animals In Europe B. divergens is the primary cause of infectious babesiosis and is transmitted by irisinus. Babesiosis has emerged in Lower Hudson Valley, New York, since 2001. In Australia, babesiosis of types B. duncani and B. microti has recently been found in symptomatic patients along the eastern coastline of the continent. A similar disease in cattle, commonly known as tick fever, is spread by Babesia bovis and B. bijmina in the introduced cattle tick Ripocephalus microplus. This disease is found in eastern and northern Australia. A table of isolated cases of Babesiosis, which may be underestimated given how widely distributed the tick vectors are in temperate latitudes. The disease is named for the genus of the causative organism, which was named after the Romanian bacteriologist Victor Babes. In 1888, Victor Babes identified the microorganisms in red blood cells as the cause of febrile hemoglobinuria in cattle. In 1893, Theobald Smith and Frederick Kilborn discovered that a tick was the vector for transmission in Texas cattle. The agent was B. bijmina. This was the first demonstration that an arthropod could act as a disease vector to transmit an infectious agent to a vertebrate host. In 1957, the first human case was documented in a splenectomized Croatian herdsman. The agent was B. divergens. In 1969, the first case was reported in an immunocompatent individual on Nantucket Island. The agent was B. microti, and the vector was the tick I. scapularis. Equine babesiosis is also known as pyroplasmosis. Veterinary treatment of babesiosis does not normally use antibiotics. In non-human animals, dimenazin, imidacarb, or trapan blue would be the drugs of choice for treatment of B. canis rossi, B. bovis, and B. bijmina. In acute cases in cattle, blood transfusion may be carried out. A vaccine is effective against B. canis canis, but is ineffective against B. c. rossi. B. imidans causes a mild form of the disease that frequently resolves without treatment.